today we're going to be checking out a brand new Apex Legends trailer that's come out. They're releasing a new legend. They're releasing basically a new gameplay trailer called Arsenal. I am stoked to check this out. I play Apex a lot. I love the game. I'm going to break down this trailer. I do animation for a living. I'm a game developer as well. So I'm going to break down this trailer, hopefully in a unique way that you've kind of never seen before. So let's dive in and let's take a look, shall we? Here we go. Disgraced champion. Excommunicated father. Forgotten icon. Will this old dog triumph and return a legend? Or will his competitors' new tricks prove too oh, much yeah. to handle? It's time these worlds remembered the name. August Brinkman. <laughs> nice. We'll watch this all the way through and then I'll break down parts of it in slow-mo. Oh yeah. Beware, for I am fearless. Ooh, I gotta stand there. Knock, yeah. knock. You need to hit the range more. Oh. Did you oh, forget cool. who I am? Oh. I hoped for more. Oh, interesting. Leveling up system for the weapons. This is crazy. Whoa, what is this? A mobile. This is my favorite oh, part. this is cool. That's Didn't dope. expect to see me up here, did you? Mad Maggie's bringing the beats. Wow, cool. Ready yourself. Look at this shit. <laughs> nice, they're updating the firing range. I've heard about that. I've heard there's a bunch of new stuff. I'll fight till from range. my bones, my flesh be hacked. Ooh. Oh, that to me, allies. I will not fall today. Oh yeah. Good night. Be glad you didn't meet me in my youth. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, this dude is wrecking. Oh, fall jump. Sick. Uh oh, here comes Wraith. Fate has arrived. for a worthy opponent. What is my telling me now? Oh, nice. Right on, that was dope. I love that, that was awesome. Let's definitely Apex break down this trailer. There we go. So, one thing that's, uh, I think that's really cool what they're doing in here is that they're showing off this new legend in the most unique way. It's really cool seeing this guy. You know, they just, you know, I'll put up a, a little thing up here on the side to show you the other trailer they did, kind of the reveal trailer of this character, Ballistic. Um, it's a really cool trailer. Definitely check it out if you have the time. Um, it's cool to see that they're updating different things like the firing range and different stuff like that because it's, it's needed. I feel like it's a little uh, boring per se. Um, and a lot of people really enjoy it. They love going in there and having little 1v1 battles. So cool to see that they're kind of updating that stuff. You know, what's interesting about this. When he puts his gun away, he puts it here. If you see that, if you look here, he, he puts it right on the bottom of his back. See that? And then, but that's not really the, the location. That's not the end location. Oh, let me move my, of course. Let me flip this around. So if you look at his gun here, when he puts the gun away, he puts it in this, this spot here. Um, but then it disappears and goes into its correct location, which is here. Which is also kind of a weird spot, especially with his backpack and stuff. It's interesting that the gun is like kind of holstered there. Um, but interesting. It's something I caught when I watched this. I was like, whoa, what happened to the gun? Because the gun kind of like teleported and I wasn't sure what it was. Now I see it. Once I slow-mo and stuff. Something I wanted to point out. Very interesting. And then one other thing I saw here was that when he goes to shoot his gun, he, um, for some reason his, his hands are kind of, t uh, too close and too wrapped around like if you look 
this thumb is going over this hand and like clipping into the glove and stuff and moving all over the place. And if you look here, his fingers are are completely into the glove and they're not on the weapon. Um, see that? And then his fingers should be kind of on the trigger and stuff, but it's not. It It's really weird looking right here. I don't know why, but the grip of the wingman looks really strange. I don't know if anybody else caught that, but that was something I noticed as well. This is cool to see that they're updating the, the map. A lot of people have played the heck out of this map, and it's really due for an update, so it's cool to see them kind of go through there and update this map. I'm excited. I'm excited to play the new map and see what it's all about. And then right here, this is really cool how they come around this corner and just annihilate this guy. He's just standing there, though, which looks a little strange. Most players don't just stand in one spot like that. But cool nonetheless. Like, this is a cool shot. The Pathfinder flying up and drilling Loba. Boom. So sick. And then I like the cinematography that they have here with the camera kind of flying through this scene. This is nice. Pretty cool stuff. This is cool too. I have an animation that I did back in the day of two pistols flying up like this, spinning, and so that's cool to see. Throwback. Now, this is interesting how they're gonna have a weapon upgrade system that you kind of come through here and you, and I think that's pretty neat because you're gonna be able to like, you know, I use a lot of the same weapons all the time and so I'll be able to really see how I upgrade them over time and I'm kind of interested about that. I think that's cool. <clears throat> I also like the transitions they do with the bullets right there. That's neat. Wall jump. It's cool to see them showing off some of the movement tech that people are doing, you know, like wall jumping and different things like that. Cool transition here with the Wraith portal. Pew. Dope. I like that. That was a cool touch. And then this thing here, this portable device that allows you to dip out of there and jump out. Ha. This is going to open up a lot of different things. I, you know, people are going to know you're taking it. They're going to hear it and they're going to be able to shoot you while you're flying through the air. But that's just like the other thing with Valkyrie. And so this one, from what I understand, is not going to go up as high. It's not going to, you know, and last as long. And from what I hear, you can like shoot it down. So there's a bunch of things that are involved that kind of nerf different aspects of it, which make it kind of more viable for everyone to be able to use it. From what I understand, it's not like a... A specific thing for ballistic like a tactical ability or any of that stuff cool to see some of the new um, skins and different things like they're gonna do with the battle pass rewards I'm digging that I probably won't get any of those skins um, or use must most of them but we'll see they look pretty cool though I'll definitely buy the battle pass I feel like that's what I always buy no matter what because I'm playing the game anyway cool to see Mad Maggie She's a really fun legend to play. Also, cool to see Fuse dancing around. Even though his feet are shaking around. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but if you look at his foot, it just looks weird. It's like moving all over the place. Kind of strange. You know, that's just mocap cleanup. That's just motion capture that hasn't been cleaned up, you know, thoroughly. And sometimes it happens in game so like when you see stuff in game it's a little bit different and more rough sometimes than it is in a cinematic cool to see the firing range um being updated like i said before they're gonna a bunch of people love going to that thing and, and stomping and testing out stuff so from what i hear they, they put in a whole bunch of like buildings and different things that you can now like tr test your you know your little movement stuff on and 1v1s can be a lot different in there now kind of stuff more aligned with what's in the game which is cool i like that and then, let's see, let me skip forward here. So this part here is really strange. Um, I'm just talking about animation here and animation feedback, basically. So, but the hands move and the gun doesn't. So see this? Like the hand is moving. You can see it. See it moving around right there? But the gun's not moving with it. So that looked really strange to me. And then right here, his hand is not holding the gun. And then, eh, then now it's holding the gun, but then it drifts away and sinks in and then pops. It like does this little thing. Like, let me just replay this really quick and I'll show you guys. Look at, just watch his hand on the gun. See that? Bink. There's a, you know, I'm, you know, nitpicking some of this stuff, you know, in an animation sense, but 
these are things that stand out to me as an animator because I'm, I'm kind of doing this stuff day to day on, on, in my job. So a lot of these things will stand out to me right away when I watch the video. And I thought I'd point them out to some of you guys because you might not even notice them. You might not see these little weird things. Next up here is I love how the showing off his new ability. This is cool. I cannot wait to use Ballistic. He looks like such a cool legend to play. And of course they're going to buff him up and make him look, you know, make him really fun and OP to begin with because they want you to play him. They want you to have fun with this legend. Later they'll nerf him down and they'll find out what's working and what's not working. Um, so I'll definitely be trying out Ballistic as soon as it comes out. As soon as I can get my hands on him, I'll be trying him out and playing him as like a main. Cool to see them again, once again, using the wall bounces. Um, Apex is really, really movement based. And if you kind of don't have good movement, you get squashed out there. This is a good pose. Love Ballistic, how they're finally bringing him here. There's been a lot of talk about him coming, you know, to Apex. So it's cool to see. This this little moment here reminds me of uh, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I don't know if it's Last Crusade or whatever, but Indiana Jones, where the guy like spins his swords everywhere and then Indiana Jones just shoots him <laughs> with the gun. That's like her. Wraith shows up to do some crazy, you know, and he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same with Wraith. She has some animation things, too. Like, if you see her whole hand and arm kind of go into her um, her leg and her pouches and stuff like that right there. Some of this stuff just needs kind of quick animation, cleanup, and polish. Uh, it looks like some motions were kind of just placed on there and then not cleaned up afterwards. But either way, like right here, I don't think they meant to do this. Um, if you look at Pathfinder, he is in a T-pose. And a T-pose is like where they rig the character and they like put the bones and the stuff and get the character ready for 3D. He's not in a pose right now. He's not standing there doing it. He's He literally has his arms out like that. I'm pretty sure that the character got broken and it, it's not supposed to look like that, I think. And it accidentally got rendered and put into this trailer. Because <laughs> I don't think Pathfinder is supposed to be standing there with his arms out like that. <laughs> but other than that, you know, it's it's interesting because you would think that they caught that, right? This is like a huge thing. Look how big he is on the screen in the T-pose. So he maybe came into the engine and got broke. And later on, the editors didn't notice this. I'm not sure. But it was a huge kind of thing that showed up to me. I thought, whoa, he's still in his T-pose. What the heck? <laughs> Especially as a developer, you kind of notice a T-pose right away. So that was kind of interesting. But awesome, awesome, awesome trailer. Well, hope you guys enjoyed that little breakdown. I have fun with these things. I, I, you know, I, I, lo I know that I kind of dive into the nitty gritty of the animation stuff, but I love it. And I love to show the details that you guys might have missed. So until next time, I hope you guys had some fun. If you did, make sure to smash the buttons down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.